Since the start of my PC gaming journey, I'd always used ambidextrous mice, and you know, it's great for experimenting with different grip styles. However, it never felt quite right in my hand. Like, something always felt missing, a little off. Until on one fateful day, a package from Zark Gaming Mods arrived at my doorstep with the name Lamzu plotted on the box. And when I got this package, oh boy. It completely changed my perspective on gaming mice forever. And what I'm talking about is the Lamzu Thorn. The first thing I immediately felt when holding the mouse was the stability it had due to the bulkier feeling of the thorn, while also being very comfortable to move, being credited to the ergonomic curvature. Despite feeling like a safer mouse, it still had aggressive features I instantly fell in love with that made me aim at the most ease I've ever had with a mouse. Drawing inspiration from the larger Outset AX and the smaller Zowie EC3. This is obviously a palm and claw styled mouse, and the steeper hump of the thorn allowed me to hold the mouse further up my hand rather than feeling like the hump was ejecting my palm outwards, with mice like the G Pro Super Light and the Lamzu Maya, which I recently used and reviewed, contributing greatly to the glove-like feeling for me. Secondly, the most important part of the shape for me was the aggressive thumb groove, which locked in my thumb during usage. This was a design decision that I often noticed with tracking heavy tasks. So I was like, I'm tracking, I'm tracking. I was like, wow, this groove is like really locked in for me. It feels great. Lastly, the right side of the mouse was relatively flat, giving you the freedom for your fingers, which was a great plus for me. So like, it gave that safer kind of feeling. Overall, the shape of the thorn has left me very confident while aiming and is worthy of being my main alongside the Viper Mini Signature Edition. Coming at a nimble 52 grams, this beats competing ergonomic mice from Zowie, Vaxi, Pulsar, and Logitech, obviously. Even when I've used sub 40 gram mice, I've been more than happy to class this as a top tier option. Unsurprisingly, it rocks a Pixar 3395 and a Nordic MCU. Tracking, flicking, clicking all felt responsive and smooth. Having very low latency and being capable of 4000 Hz wirelessly, I had very little issues besides jitters from wireless interference when I had more than one dongle connected at the same time, although that was to be given. So performance wise, weight wise, it's excellent, top tier definitely. One thing I'll say, just like I mentioned before, that the mouse feels really stable and that did roll over in game where in like Kovacs where I was playing like smooth tracking or like just clicking it felt incredibly easy to aim so I wouldn't have to like tense up as much I could just really just relax my arm and my hand and I could like aim just as well as I could with like another like an ambi mouse like smaller ambi mouse but I'd have to like put a little bit more effort kind of tense up a tiny bit more with this mouse it was like it, it just like carried the weight for me I was like, I don't know how to explain it. It just felt really effortless to aim with this mouse. But with this mouse, it was like, I wouldn't have to even warm up. I'd just go in like into a DM and I'd just be like, okay, I'm hitting these shots like just right now. Like I just got on. I was like, wow, that's just crazy. So overall, this mouse has completely just surprised me like out the bazaar. <laughs> that's like even a word. Being incredibly light and tactile combined with the minimal pre and post travel, it made the clicks feel exceptionally responsive in my usage making the optical switches of the thorn my favorite of any mouse I've actually used. From what I've seen, people haven't been the biggest fan of these switches, but these have been the best optical implementation I've used, coming from the Razer Opticals. And I don't know, I just prefer the feel and sound of opticals, whether that's brain dead or not. So yeah, I, I love these. The side buttons also are excellent, spammable and tactile. I mean, it's difficult to mess up side buttons these days. Like, yeah, they're, they're good. <laughs> With zero creaking and rattle, the build quality on my thorn has been excellent. There is a bit of flex on the sides when pressing with an extreme amount of force, but you're never actually going to apply that much unless you wanted to like speed run repetitive stress injury, but obviously you're not going to do that. Feeling solid in hand overall, I have no doubts about it dying on you anytime soon. So Lamzu, I mean, with their track record, I mean, this should, I, don't, I don't think you should really worry, unlike some other companies. Packed with a silver TTC encoder, the scroll wheel feels tactile with defined steps and no issues while, while using it, really. Unfortunately, I have a bit of squish on the scroll wheel rubber, although it's not as pronounced as the Lamzu Maya, so it is tolerable for me. Uh, some people do like the squishiness, giving it like more grip for some people, but for me, it kind of detracts from the quality. I don't really like that squish, but once again, the scroll wheel is, sounds good, feels good, 
no issues. I don't usually talk about stock skates, but these felt worth mentioning. These skates are very smooth for being stock, and the multi-skate implementation has been like pretty pleasant, and it never felt really sluggish as I first assumed, being that you know, there's more surface area, so I thought I'd drag a lot, but honestly it's <laughs> been exceptional, like really just great skates here. The fingerprint magnet of a coating was superb on my charcoal film. Being smooth and slightly rubbery, it's one of the most premium and best coatings I've felt on a mouse. However, you might need grip tape if you have incredibly dry hands. Just remember to have a handkerchief ready if you are a sweaty one, because those fingerprints kind of <laughs> are very noticeable, at least on my black unit. Okay, it's been a long time since a mouse had wowed me like the Hearty X did. So the Thorn has truly surprised me with its shape and quality of feel. This will be in my main rotation from now on until something great pops up. So link is down below for the, the mouse and yeah, thanks for watching guys and like and sub. See ya.